get onto the wing position, and the guy had a black cross on his back. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I pulled the power back and slid behind him and shot him down. <laughs> off at 18,000 feet and come back, I'm beginning to wonder, you know, am I going to, what am I going to do when I get in there and really get into it? Am I going to fight it or am I going to run or, you know, what's going to happen? So, uh, this day, uh, yeah, it had to be in March now because I remember it was a, a Berlin, returning from a Berlin mission, and I was leading a flight of four and uh, another flight of three or four from one of our other squadrons joined up with me on the way home. We finished our export. It's been really easy. And we started home. I'm leading the whole pack. And I looked up and I saw way out there a B-17 all by himself. So I said, well, come on guys, let's go over there and uh, and uh, let's, let's take him out to the post. And so, hey, you know, Fire pilot can't talk unless you can use your hands. I could have sit on my hands here. I could not tell you the story. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're heading over there, and the, the B-17s are out here in front. Here come three MA-109, belly up, up, turning in like this, coming down on them. We're coming from over here. They obviously didn't see that there were seven Mustangs there. So they come and say, okay, I'm leading this back. One of those guys is going to be mine. So I got it. I, I was leading, so I made this attack. We were down at low level, and um, I really felt that the Mustang could outturn an, uh, any of the enemy aircraft. A, a pilot was, was this, a quality pilot could give a, a you know, you could hold your own or, or defeat the enemy aircraft. I learned later that a uh, MM109 down at low altitude in the hands of a good pilot could give a Mustang a hard time. Uh, anyway, I, I, we, we attack them. They see us and we start in this dogfight. So when you get in a dogfight, you want to shoot a guy down. You want to get right here what we call it, 6 o'clock. You don't want to be out here at a high angle. You don't want to be out here right here in a 10 degree cone behind the, behind the airplane. Get as close as you can, and that's another thing. Like, as soon as that air, enemy airplane gets in your windshield, it's about all you can do to not squeeze the trigger. I mean, it's just, it, it's bust fingers. It's pretty funny. So, we're, we're, we go by like this, we're, each 